Well, we couldn't be happier here in the sunshine of this amazing garden party. Everybody's in their finery. Giles has got his special bee jumper on. I don't know quite how he's managing the heat. But we've got so many people who've come here to support this amazing cause, Bees to Development. Hello, it's Kate Humble here, and I am at the amazing Bees for Development garden party in the grounds of Marlborough House, where no one is allowed, apart from us, it seems. This is not only a fantastic celebration of 30 years of Bees for Development, but it's also a really important event to engage people in why it is that bees are so important to all of us, wherever we live. This charity is literally transforming the lives of some of the poorest people in the world. Because actually, if you have bees, if you keep bees, they're available, they're free. You don't have to pay them wages, and they create honey, which is a commodity that can make money. So literally, people can, through what you're doing, in a very simple way, they actually can change their lives, make their lives. It's fantastic. This charity has done some incredible work in the 30 years that it's been going. It's a tiny charity, but it really punches above its weight. It has literally changed not just people's lives, but whole communities' lives, both in the UK and further afield. People who raise bees can spend the money on education for their children, for medicine in a simple way, and they don't have anything. They can just go into the forest, use a log hive, and get this very precious crop honey. Bees for Development is a fantastic organisation. I've met some fascinating people talking about bee culture from all over the world. And if you're even remotely interested in bees or love honey, support this fantastic charity because they're really making a difference. And there is honey still for tea. <laughs>